Cullinan is a small town in the Hauteng province of South Africa. It is located 30 kilometers east of the city of Pretoria along the Diamond Route, and is heavily reliant on tourism. The town is named after diamond magnate, Sir Thomas Cullinan. In 1898, Sir Thomas Cullinan, was handed a three-carat diamond found along a farm fence. He studied the area, and came to the conclusion that the diamond was washed down from a nearby hill. Sir Cullinan made an attempt to buy the land from the owner, Joachim Prinsloo, but the sale did not materialize. After Prinsloo's death, Thomas Cullinan finalized the purchase of the land for £52,000 from Prinsloo's daughter. The Cullinan Kimberlite was discovered in 1902. In 1903, open pit mining commenced and was named the Premier Diamond Mining Company. On the 25th of June 1905, the famed Cullinan Diamond, the largest in the world at 3,106 carats was discovered by Frederick George Stanley Wells, the surface manager of the Premier Diamond Mining Company. It was then bought by the Transvaal government, and presented to King Edward VII. The town of Cullinan owes its existence to the diamond mining in this area. Much like Kimberley, in the Northern Cape province of South Africa. Cullinan produced stones of various cuts and sizes. The largest of which is named Cullinan, also known as the Great Star of Africa. At 530.4 carats, 3.74 ounces, it is the largest clear-cut diamond in the world. The stone is mounted in the head of the sovereign's scepter. The second largest is Cullinan II, or the second star of Africa, weighing 317.4 carats, mounted in the imperial state crown. Both are part of the crown jewels. Seven other major diamonds, weighing a total of 208.29 carats are privately owned by Elizabeth II, who inherited them from her grandmother, Queen Mary, in 1953. Cullinan is also renowned as the world's most important source of blue diamonds, providing the collection of 11 rare blues, which was displayed in 2000 at the London's Millennium Dome, alongside the Millennium Star, and which included the fancy vivid blue, Heart of Eternity which is 27 carats polished. Guided tours of the mine, both surface and underground, which take approximately one and a half hours for the surface mine, and approximately four hours for underground, needs to be booked in advance. After visiting the mine, you will get the opportunity to visit the Cullinan Diamond Mine Market for an unforgettable diamond and jewelry shopping experience. The flea market, also known as the Dorp Mark, is a monthly gathering of locals, who offer visitors their homemade and handmade cheese, jams, jewelry and other items, as well as fresh produce and great food. This quaint Victorian town's roads are lined with both jacarandas and oak trees, and the main road hosts many small shops, where one can browse and purchase anything from antiques to homemade crafts and edibles. Or enjoy a delicious meal with friends and family, or just take a lazy stroll down the historical street.
some historic mine machinery are also on display in the town. Walking Cullinan's Heritage Trail is the perfect way to get to know the history of this remarkable town, and most of the historical places of interest are within easy walking distance of each other. <laughs> 